Hello, and thank you for joining me for this lesson. Today, we're gonna to be talking about things that are living and things that are non-living. So for this lesson today, you're going to practice all the skills that you've already learned about living and non-living things. You're going to need from your folder these two sheets. Now yours has not been colored yet, but I wanted to color mine so that I could show you what it looks like. This sheet and this sheet you will need. You will need your glue stick, your scissors, and of course you will need your pencil to put your name on your work and your crayons or colored pencils to add color to your pictures. All right, boys and girls, why don't you stick with me, take a look at how this work is done, and then you get to go do it independently. Be right back. All right, here we are, and you see that I have already colored my work, which that is the first step into completing this assignment. Now I have, all of my pictures are colored, and this is the sheet in which I'm going to sort them onto. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my name on this sheet with the blank squares, because were we in the classroom, this is what you would be turning in. When all of your pictures are colored, your next step is to cut them all out. I'm going to do that and then be right back with you. Okay, as you can see, I have cut out each of our pictures. I'm going to go through each one with you so you know what each one is before we start our sort. Okay, this first one I have here, this is a chair. So you'll have to think about, is a chair living or non-living? This is an octopus. These are flowers. This is a teapot. This is a hat. This is a tree. This is a spider and it looks like a scary one. This is a van or a bus. This is mushrooms. This is a caterpillar. This is an ice cube. This is a bell. This is a pair of clogs or wooden shoes. We see a lot of these in Holland at tulip time. This is a swan. This is a grape vine. And this is a flower pot. Okay. On your paper, you can see that on the top it says living and non-living. So all of the pictures of things that are living are going to go in these, these spots. All of the things that are pictures of things that are not living or non-living will go in these spots. I'm going to do a few of them with you today and then I want you to think about the rest of them independently. Let's think for a second. If something is living, we know that means that it needs food, it needs air, and it grows. So those are three things that living things do. So if you are stuck on one of your pictures, stop and think, does it need food? Does it grow? Okay. All right, let's start here with the flower pot. I look at this flower pot and I know a flower pot does not grow. Now the flowers that may go inside might grow, but the pot itself it does not grow. So this is a non-living thing. So I'm going to take just a little bit of my glue stick and put my picture under non-living. Okay, let's see. Next, I'm going to choose a swan. A swan is an animal. Does a swan need food? 
Yes. Does a swan grow? Absolutely. A swan is a living thing. So our swan will go over here under living. Next up is this pair of wooden clogs or wooden shoes. Do these wooden shoes grow or need food? You're right, they don't. So that is going to go under non-living. Wooden shoes are a non-living thing. All right, let's do one more together. Here we go. Ooh, how about the scary spider? Ooh, does this scary spider need food? You bet. Does this scary spider grow? Yes, this spider is a living thing. So this spider will go right next to our swan. It is a living thing. All right, boys and girls, I want you to be scientists and think about all of these items and decide, is it living or is it non-living? I can't wait to see your finished work. All right, boys and girls, thank you for doing this living and non-living paper sort work with me. I wanted to show you before I go, you will see that you have just enough pictures to fill both sides of living and non-living. All right, have fun coloring, have fun cutting and pasting and sorting. I'll see you soon.